Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a little bit of a walkthrough of my Tennessee Wildlife Resources TRX4. It started out as a defender, and before I get started, one of the quickest ways if you want to just change the look of your stock vehicle is the wheels. So here, you know, bone stock, got those. Just take off the wheels, got a set of tacticals here. Just something that simple can, can completely change the look of it. If you don't like that, pop those guys off. Got some, they say method on them. Uh, more of a government issue look to them. Mm, I think I can. There we go. And you go there. Um, you can even go, got the stock uh, TRX4 blazers here. If you wanted to, you know, go with that, I painted them flat black just because I did not like the gray that they came on. There's that. Pop that one on there. That kind of just gives you the the different looks that you can get just by changing the wheels and tires alone. Uh, I've got another set here that would look a little bit different, but you get the point. All right, let's get into the TWRA and converting this into a clipless fender system. All right, so now we've got the Defender, which is also my tactical that I'm just using for visual purposes, and then what actually used to be the Defender that I converted to a clipless fender system uh, with narrow wheel wells. So these are both the 12.8 um, wheelbase 12.8 inch from the previous video I'll stick it up here or here there was where you can go from 11.8 to 13.2 and so take off body and just ignore the wires for now please and get that out of the way all right so on the defender you've got the body mounted uh, wheel wells and then you have the clipless. Uh, an additional option is um, body mounted, not clipless. Um, and these are wide. So if you wanted to use the body posts and just have everything be attached to the frame instead of the body, you have this option as well versus like the Defender where it's on here. So you have uh, regular, narrow, and then you also have the same in the clipless. And I think this came out with the Ford Bronco is when this started to come out. And what I did is I took the interior frame and just double-sided taped it uh, into the body so I could move it around as I wanted and then and got into the lights and those kinds of details. Um, Wheelbase, you can go from the 11.8 to the 13.2. Uh, to achieve that 13.2, there's a couple little things you have to do. These can be flipped around. So where these are kind of angled forward, you can angle them backwards. That gets you another extra 12 millimeters, uh, which then could maybe fit your body that you're trying to work on a little bit better. Um, so each of these pieces can be flipped around to get you a better body mount as well. So instead of being like this, you could put it like that, get you just a few more millimeters of space, depending on what kind of body you're running. And then it comes with, you know, the very long back mounts to get up into the defender or the tactical. And you can get these in the smaller or you can just snip these for whatever your purposes are. So that's kind of what I've done. And then you also have the option of like a hoop to put on the front to give it more so for the Defender look, so many options with these guys. Um, you know, I also have the TRX4 Blazer, and I've ended up using the bumper mounts for other things. So just so, so many options that you can go with on these. Um, if your bumper's too high or too low, you know, you can flip around uh, the bracket. Since this one is my Ford Raptor body, I went ahead and just took it off so it would allow the, the front end of the, the truck to sit down flush and just have a cleaner 
look on it. All right, so let's get into some of the details. All right, so for the converted defender, what I did is changed out the uh, wheel wells into the clipless system, which just has that the, the brackets for the body, and had to change where the shocks are mounted and all that. The other thing I did is it's kind of a finishing touch, but I wanted to be subtle. I took uh, Max Customs Design and Prints uh, has these tubes. He does them printed. You can match any of your liveries, X Max, all those. Just wanted subtle black, and you just cut it the length, slide it over the the coil over shock, and it just gives it kind of a, a more muted look. Um, the next thing I did on this one was uh, this was a body I needed to salvage. Um, I had messed up on one of my very first police trucks and used uh, the TS paint instead of the PS paint. And so every time I flicked it, it would flake. I got it mostly off, but uh, it clouded in a few places. And I came up with this truck is what I was going to do. And so this is a wildlife officer truck. Most states have them, forestry services, fish and wildlife. Um, and I just peeled all the paint off as best I could and then reshot it with um, uh, PS Green, and then I did the wheel wells in black. And then after that, I masked off and did a flat uh, clear on the outside and on the cowl here, just to give it a little bit more, uh, less of a shine, uh, more of a forestry truck. Um, got some uh, plates from RC Plate Shop, got those on the back here. Uh, just to be scale accurate and then you know painted it up masked the windows uh, did a little bit of smoke on the back windows as well as the uh, the sunroof because you know, all police officers have sunroofs in their vehicles um, and then did the decals the decals I covered in another video with poor audio quality so I'll kind of go over it again here with the decals what you can do is go out and grab the images online um, if you have a preferred decal vendor, maybe they have what you have, uh, what you want. If they don't, then you just go out there. For this one, I went out to the, you know, the state agency, grabbed their logo, brought it into Paint 3D on Windows, and then I was able to go through and just use the magic tool to kind of pull out the background colors I didn't want. And what I what I was able to do is then I could drag this overlay onto this hex code for this TS paint color and it looked like it was printed on that and I use a, a laser printer with uh, vinyl you know, weatherproof stock and I add the logo I'll type a text box down there match the color as best I can and then I print it out large and after I print it out large I'll take and put a laminate sheet it's an Avery. I'll drop a picture of it in here and I'll make it just a little bit bigger so that I have uh, a sticker part and put it on there. Uh, I trim around it. This law enforcement here in the front, same thing. And here on the side. Uh, one of the things that I would recommend is when you do it, do it a little bit large and probably right before or right after you put the laminate on, uh, color code the outside so the white of the label doesn't show up. Um, my home laser printer, I can't print white, and so anything that I print on clear comes out kind of washed out. It just doesn't have the white base to, in order to build up the colors and make everything pop. So I print on white, but that leaves a little bit of an edge around the side that's white. And so like on my state trooper, I just did it black on this, just did it green, like one of my kids' uh, Crayola markers, not even anything special. One of the things that I also did on this truck was uh, these mirrors. These mirrors fit the slash uh, Ford Raptor. Approximate right size. So I just, I just bought them, just a normal hard plastic. And then I have a, like a pen drill with a bunch of these little bits and I kind of eyeballed it to see where I might be able to get a bulb, peeled off 
the faux mirror sticker and just kind of lined it up and drilled drilled a hole right down into here and then drilled in this side fed a wire through with the light which i then was able to mount up here on the inside and run to my tangle of mess on both sides so whenever i turn on the police lights these light up as well um, on this one i also stuck just a, a funny little red and white one right here in the middle because i can so that is the body shell the paint and the decals uh, the body mount changes, again, this is a narrow body, so I needed narrow fenders. So I got the narrow fender set from Traxxas. And then uh, the bumpers put the back one on that has the license plate holder. Got the plate from RC Plate Shop. Found that logo for, um, uh, it's a deer head logo on the back of the wildlife truck. Scaled it down, stuck it on there. And then... I uh, found some different wheels that I liked that matched it up a little bit better for what I was going for. So for this, you know, I'll just set it on here real quickly to kind of give a look. Uh, the Defender wheels just weren't doing it for me. So I stuck those on like that. Again, they're fine, but it just wasn't the look I wanted to go for. Um, happened to come across... I think it was Facebook Marketplace. Um, one of the guys in uh, a group or something that I, I follow just put these up and you know said no name, no brand name or anything. Just had a little bit of brass and you know more of an industrial military look. And for me, I like it. That was I'm I'm sold. Uh, I did look at it with my TRX4 Blazer wheels on it. I just didn't like it as much. So. Again, something so simple as wheels can completely change the look of your build. So uh, if you have some, hang on to them. If not, go to a swap meet, check them out. Uh, one of the last things that I would also suggest is uh, these little uh, caps. So once you put uh, the lock nut on there, you can you know, screw these on, and it just finishes off the look of your build just a little bit more. Uh, detail that one's not going to go on but you get the point uh, the uh, the other thing I did on this truck was I uh, moved up the rock sliders and the the body was sitting a little high just due to the way the fenders are designed and what I did is I just took out these two screws and added a, a spacer in there I believe it was the ball adjustment for my e-revo just an extra piece and went to my hardware store found the right millimeter screw just got one a few millimeters longer stuck it in there and now it sits up high and looks right for this truck all right be right back all right so while i'm up just give you a closer look at the back and the uh, the deer decal and then the rock sliders and how those uh, can move and how they're pretty much flush with the bottom of the truck at that point did put a hobby wing quick run fusion in here and then got my preferred people <laughs> products uh, what else did I do and there's just the narrow fenders and you can see where I added lights just drilled uh, right in, used black shugu once I got them in place, and then routed the wires up, and they'll plug into the side of the truck whenever I I go. Uh, a little bit closer look at those mirrors and how I did those, and that one, and then just how I this side's a little bit better to see. Just how I feed it straight in through the body and into my my light controller um, against my trick rc uf7c and the the light buckets here they're covered up in black tape and these are where i took a photocopy of the sticker cut it out on graph paper and then just started folding and bending and folding and bending until i came up with a approximate shape of 
the headlight bucket that would work with the wheel wells. And then I just replicated it on the other side, did the same thing in the back, uh, put some uh, duct tape on there to help block the light. And so then I have my, my brake light and then I have an extra strobe going to the sides for my police look. And then that all uh, plugs into the ESC. Um, no, not the ESC, the receiver so that I can get the, the signal and power to it and make it switchable. And then for the, for the bracket, I've just used double-sided tape with Velcro so I could pull it in and out. And, you know, lots of lights for, you know, turn indicators and headlights and all that, but it's worked out pretty well for what I do with this truck. Um, so that is my wildlife officer truck. Look at my notes, make sure I didn't forget anything. I did. The um, one thing I've found is like using these Q-tips or something like it to help with your decals um, helps just get them down in there. A little bit of heat, depending on what time of year you're doing this. And uh, I did go ahead and I made up some strobe lights like the real trucks we have here. And that is same process, except for I didn't have anything to go by. So I just grabbed uh, some graph paper. You know, I know the size of the lights. They're three millimeters. You know, so maybe do, you know, three times the size of the lights high. So I could go in the center and have a little bit of clearance on both sides and then just uh, put them up there into the the top of the thing, um, the roof. So that then when I come on, they come on, they also go back and forth. Uh, so you have a lot of options with these strobes as far as if you want fast or slow, wheel wells going together or opposite, right, left, front, back. Um, I went with kind of an alternating in each wheel well pattern and I'll uh, get a, maybe a shot of that up here so you can kind of see the, the back and forth, the front and back. Um, and I didn't do rock lights on this one specifically because I just went in through the sides of the wheel wells and plugged them in that way. And again, uh, rock slider mod, wide fenders or fenders or no fenders, depending on what your build is. And then, you know, for the decal, it's just go out there, you grab the image, uh, you clean it up, grab the hex coat of whatever paint color you're using. If you're going to do it at your, you know, do it at home, paint it up, print it up on paper, scale it up, scale it down, whatever you need, and then transfer it to, you know, a laser printer that can, you know, burn that ink onto the, the vinyl put a protective sheet across the top of it, slap it on there, and you are ready to go. Um, hopefully you found something informative in here. I've hopefully made you smile. I've made myself smile. If you can, give me a thumbs up. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe. Drop me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.